story at number 10. And I was a little hesitant to get into it, but I posted it because I was curious and I got really curious, I read more of it, got really curious. And this is one that I know Anderson Cooper's not covering tonight. So we got it for you here. Well, Blitzer can't touch this one. Rachel Maddow, well, she's, she's, she's ballsy. She's not, not this ball. Trump's election has women swearing off sex with men. Let that, you know, work for you for a second. Give it a couple seconds. Marinate. I'll take a sip of coffee to, to hydrate. So I don't do any um, weird um, nonverbal slurs or anything like that. Okay. Got it? Okay. The, the story is actually pretty short. The, the, the work behind it is actually short. But guess what? Following Donald Trump's recent election victory, almost a week or so, as of tomorrow, would say, some American women are adopting the 4B movement, a feminist initiative originating from South Korea. There, I guess there, there are, are definitely as um, singing that one out very well. That one it won't get any terrors, unfortunately. The 4B movement encourages women to abstain from sex, dating, marriage, and childbirth with men as a form of protest against perceived misogyny and patriarchal structures. Surge in interest reflects concerns over reproductive rights and gender equality in the current political climate. Now, to put a bow on this one, this is a, you know, right now we're hearing all different people, all the resistance still being out there, people still sort of fighting the power that is what they expect to happen when the new regime, I say that, you know, tend to keep, but as President Trump becomes President Trump again, we had the story that, that blew up uh, over the weekend, a clip from Friday about, um, uh, Stephanie Rule is talking about what the nation just have to run and have to find out. We had the headline from the for Ann uh, Seltzer, who she could do it longer than Trish Ann Seltzer, who put out the poll, they said Iowa was in play and that um, Harris could actually win it to be totally wrong all the way. Uh, we've had a lot of stories of people doing any name Google stuff uh, for the one side and the oh God, I'm really am moving the Canada stuff for the other side. Let's not get it twisted. Let's not get too um, upset on this one. We got to be all right. This nation will live. And while many things may seem like a push to the 2025 project things that Trump said he isn't doing, there's still a lot of work to keep out of that one. Last week, we used uh, my new book, The Now What Network Manifesto, to sort of hopefully get you guys jazzed up into um, political action, staying involved while the, pol while the politicians wait to be voted on again. Go to um, nowwhat.network or look for the book on Amazon if you want more details on that one. We're not pushing that this week. But if you still want to be politically active, I'm not saying withholding sex is the best way to do that one. Your mileage may vary on that one. But you can do what you can do to make sure that people are hearing you, make sure that your rights are being, uh, your rights are, are being attended to, your voice is being heard. Make sure you keep your voice heard, even if it's something like, you know, abstaining. You will. 